Hi Griffin, my name is Kai, and in honor of Fallout 4, I challenge you to carve Vault Boy. Thanks, that's a great idea. Challenge accepted. You might be thinking that doesn't look like Vault Boy. Well, it was actually supposed to be Terminator, but I never finished that project. But this log has been taking up a lot of space at the shop, so I decided to repurpose it instead of going out and buying more wood. We also don't have white pine down in Texas, so this is a log I brought back from Pennsylvania with me. It's not something I can get easily, so I definitely don't want it to go to waste. One of the benefits of using white pine instead of the eastern red cedar, which I normally use, the cedar is a marbled wood, which is dark underneath, and with the white pine it's nice and uniform, so it takes stains and paints really nicely. It's ideal for this sort of cartoon-inspired figure. It kind of looks however you want it to look. Boy has the body of a toddler, so trying to get those proportions right were kind of challenging. Cartoon inspired characters I think are pretty challenging because you can't just texturize your way out of flaws, you can't hide the mistakes by adding fur. You um, kind of have to just sand and sand and sand and make sure your lines are right. And sometimes you'll paint everything and then realize, oh wow, that really isn't lining up and have to sand everything down and reshape features. This needs to come in more. Maybe back to there. In order to keep the wood grain showing through, I watered down acrylic. Any place the paint got too heavy, I just got my brush wet and fanned it out until it soaked into the wood and became more like a stain. For his skin, I decided to leave the wood natural and just spray it with something clear. The watered down acrylic ended up looking really soft. I like that you can still see some of the wood through. Thank you for watching me make Vault Boy. If you like this video, please subscribe and you might check out a few others.